Reach you through disintegration. Alright guys, I'm going to do some Velka support gameplay here. I'm going to lock him in right now. Uh, I'm going to start off with my uh, runes and masteries. For my runes, I'm actually going to be running 7.8 magic pen. Uh, 26 ability power and 9 armor. I know it seems like kind of a strange uh, page for support. Um, but basically you just want to do as much damage as humanly possible. Um, and I feel like this is pretty good. Um, I have another page with him I used to use um, right here. And it's got a little bit more regen. It's got a little HP. Um, this is for lanes um, I want to be a little bit safer in. Um, but generally I just go for the pure offense. Um, you can see it. Uh, here it is. 7.8 magic pen. Uh, a little bit of regen, just one, basically one mana per five regen, 40 HP, 17 ability power, and 8.3 armor. Just a little different, a little bit more on the safer side, but again, I'm going with the PRAP this time around. Um, I feel like I can do a lot of damage. Lucian's pretty uh, close range champion too, he's not like a, little, like a Caitlyn, like a long ranged uh, AD carry, you can pretty much get a lot of uh, damage on him. Actually, I'm going against the Galio support, most likely. Uh, it's been coming up lately. Uh, for my rune or my masteries rather, I'm going 2406. Now, granted, this looks like a very mid laner style. Um, I'm grabbing all the spell weaving and blade weaving. I'm um, going all the way and actually getting 24 points in offense here. I want every human, as I said, like humanly possible damage I can start dishing out with this champion. Um, and I'll show you why. Hopefully, I can get some good good examples of why I take so much uh, offensive. Um, style runes and masteries um, uh, other than that you get six in utility you just get the fleet footed for movement speed I think movement speed is incredibly powerful on Velkaz um, and of course the mana, mana regen is also I think incredibly powerful so with that said we're going to be going into game um, looks like it's Galio support um, I actually haven't played Velkaz versus Galio support but we'll see how that goes um, hopefully they can't absorb too much damage bot lane um, if that's the case, I'll just have to put most of my harass on Dilution instead of Galio. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, coming into this game, got the support veil cause. I'm actually gonna get spell thieves, two HP pots, and one mana potion. Um, you're not gonna get an award start, you're not gonna do anything like that. You're just going to try as I said, try to harass as much as humanly possible here um, going into this game. Oh, looks like we gotta invade here. Try to get some get some gold for myself. I'm rich. I'm rich. No, oh, that wasn't so bad. Basically, we got enough vision. But I can just keep harassing like this. And actually, <coughs> getting my ward deep in the bot here, I think I can make it down here before that Lucian and that Galio do. So I can actually see if they come through there. Maybe get some good harass in. If they come late, if they come over to help. So I'm just going to use like one spell here and then run right to lane. For sure, Rango can handle it. But yeah, I made like 25 gold off the start. Not too shabby, not too shabby. As you can see, I already have a lot of regen too. So you can actually spam this quite a bit. And you basically just want to keep harassing as much as you can. Get your auto attacks in when you can. I actually didn't mean to take that. I'm a scrub. And if I move up, I can actually take some brush control here. Ooh, the double. And you can be really aggressive with Velkaz. You can just keep walking up like this. And there you go, that's first blood. 
you get the knock up, I always recommend getting the the E second. It's really beneficial um, for your overall damage, output, and like stuff like that. It's also good CC. You can get the strong level two all ins. And it's gonna force him to heal, hopefully. Or at least go back to base. Let's see how far he goes back. Oh. So by stopping the Lucian from going back, it's actually good. It's gonna deny him more farm too. I wasn't just doing that to be cocky or anything like that. It's just um if you can stop somebody from going back. It's always going to be beneficial. I can hold this too, I don't need to go back just yet. I can just sit here and get experience, last hit. That kind of stuff. This guy, Galio, is actually pushing the lane. Which is good for me, bad for his Lucian, actually. Uh, you're going to level up your Q as your third ability. Ooh, it did a decent amount of damage. And, um... The reason you do that is I feel like the poke is way better. With that, it's, like, really good. So, as I said, I can just sit here last hit. Wave's already pushing. Galio's sitting in this brush, yeah. He's gonna try to do this all day to me. Biggest thing is, just keep, keep getting, uh, experience. The last hits when you can, but um, pretty pretty well off right now. At least I am. The first blood. Ooh, that hurts. Delcas really starts doing damage um, at the next level when you can combo with his uh, W. You should be able to get that. No, on la on towers, the one that they're gonna hit if it's a ranged creep. See, this one's already hit. Don't need to hit it. This one auto attack once, and the creeps will actually get that one for him. So last thing under tower, always help your AD carry like that. It's really beneficial. Oh, there he is. Found him. But you see if we can try to combo. Oh, maybe not. I'm gonna ward this brush because they're kind of being aggressive still. This Galio is pretty um though. Oh, I missed, unfortunately. An I just gotta run for my life. Probably gonna have to blow flash here. If only I got that Q off sooner, I could have maybe picked up another kill. Oh well, so Cat's pinging that she's coming down. Normally I wouldn't stay, but let's see what I can do here. Around these creeps are like shitting on me. Oh my god, that was stupid. No, I'm not gonna die though. But still, <laughs> actually I'm gonna die. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I was trying, I was trying to uh, make sure that she wasn't going to get, or the bot lane was gonna get out of there because they were low. I thought Cat would get down there a little bit sooner. Oh well. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I go get go back to base. No harm, no foul. No one got a kill. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna pick up my uh, trinket, my red trinket. Get a lot of mana pots. Mana regen lane is really really good. Uh, then you can pick up a couple wards. Um, I don't like, um, especially if you can't grab a ruby crystal like outright. Um, just there's no point in trying to do that. Um, you can always just buy green wards. Ruby crystal into uh, sightstone isn't always necessary. Be aware, lanes in a good spot. Galio is actually rushing up there. Lucian's going too. That means I need to go. I don't think I can do much here. I can take out this pink. 
but other than that Bane's just free farming right now. Took out two pinks though. Pretty good. These guys have just transitioned to mid lane. I don't know. This this is gonna go down, I guess. <laughs> well, that's not terrible, as I said. Bane's getting a free farm. Lucian's eighteen or so CS behind right now. Leeson's trying to run down. Yeah, I know he's there. I'm aware. So many pings. As you can see, that does crazy amounts of damage. Trying to get a lot of harass out here. As much as I can. As soon as I hit six, I can actually start comboing. And well, that guy actually hit six beforehand. As you can see that does so much damage. That's why I took all that damage in my runes and masteries. There you go, level 6. Make sure he's not in there, he was in there. Cat's paying to come down again. But I'm not sure what she's diving or going for because Lucian's back to lane and Galio's pretty full on HP. I guess we can dive it. See, as soon as you catch somebody, you just ultimate them. If you hit them with, um, you can actually cast your E and your W, or your Q and your W at the exact same time. So you can do a lot of combos like that. Work out pretty good. Oh, Nidalee, you messed up, girl. Oh, I hit the Lucian there. We can actually step up. I'm not sure if Galio is going to be around yet. I know we want to back up to base. But... I'm actually going to start playing up on this guy a little bit. I didn't miss every single one of my cues. Everybody wants the bot lane, huh? I got a dip though, actually. Not yet. Not yet. Lee Sin's gone. He was gonna dive us, but Vayne's pretty healthy right now, and I can actually sit back since I have such long range. And just keep keep harassing. So 
now I'm gonna back up actually. If Rango down here, he can help Bane if she needs anything. And I'm just gonna dip right away. I'm actually just gonna go haunting guys since I already have the gold for it. As I said, like if you can buy if you can buy greens and you can upgrade your items, I'd always choose to do that in Velkaz. He's one of the few supports I'd actually say to do that on. And it looks like Rango didn't help him <laughs> defend the tower, which is unfortunate, but it happens. And it looks like Rango needs some help. And you full combo, and they die. And that's well comes for you. As long as you hit your combo with your E and your W, drop the ultimate on instantly. If you can predict where they're going to be, approximately, Unless you miss like a scrub lord like I just did. Oh, I suck. I got him here. And uh, level up your W second. After you level up Q, level up your W. Oh. Um, don't think I can help you unless you can jump to me. Nope. 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 So you gotta dodge the skill shots. Get out of there. Nilly is trying to be a jerk. Trying to throw some spears at me. It's not cool. I'll kill you later. So again, buy Ruby Crystal now. That was probably a good time. Still got two wards in my inventory. Didn't really get a chance to play some since our bot tower got taken relatively early here. I'm actually going to lose a lot of pressure here because they're all invading this area, but we can actually probably clean this up. My ultimate's almost up. Vayne's going ham right now. If we run through this side, we'll probably be able to cut him off, depending on what Vayne does here. Use your E as a knockback and escape. Belkaz is extremely good at kiting. If my cooldowns ever decide to come up. And now I'm going to help Bane actually push this since their bot lane just went back to base. And the top lane's actually doing quite good here. I'm actually going to get a ward out in this tri brush. I'm going to sweep it. And I'm going to help Bane just push this last little bit here. Being careful not to take the CS. Um, but actually, you know what? I'm going to buy. What's it called? Oh, the knockback. I would have caught him there. Unfortunately. I'm actually going to stay here because I, I do have quite a bit of damage. I'm going to give him too much HP. So flashing forward to make sure I uh, get a nice close range E. Caught the Lucian with it. Worked, worked out pretty good. Gotta be positive. Gotta be positive in the chat, of course. Alright, now I'm gonna actually pick up my side stone. I'm gonna pick up my boots. And I'm gonna pick up a pink as well. And we can start hopefully trying to take over the map. Let's get some mid pressure now. Veins nice and farmed. So am I. 
only death so far has been my uh, suicide into creeps trying to keep bot lane around for a little bit longer. Embarrassing, but doesn't really matter. Early game death took me back to base nice and quick. Exactly what I wanted. Jumps out of my E, unfortunately. Mm, unfortunately, I missed that. Jeez. Oh, oh, that's gonna hit. Nope. Missed. Oh, they're right there. I really want to combo that Lee. I wish I could. Maybe if I go around this side, I can catch him. Doing something silly. Ooh, got the Nidalee. It's all just about picking people off. It's really what Velkaz does really well. Oh, got a room for my life. I'm totally on here. Get the autos in while I can. What? Uh, unfortunate. I think I've said unfortunate like 37 times already. But that's okay. Oh, the Gnar! The Nar. <laughs> nice one, Nar. Yeah. Clutch indeed. That was super clutch. Alright. So, from here, um, I'm actually going to get my Stork Shoes. Pen is. Velkaz doesn't scale, like, incredibly well. He is, he is one of those champions that uh, Magic Pen. And stuff like that uh, is going to give you more overall damage for your spells. I think CDR and Magic Pen are incredibly good stats on Velkos. Which is why it makes him a good support. Because Magic Pen isn't as expensive as just pure AP. And because of that... Oh shit. Sorry, I'll finish the sentence once I'm done. Getting crapped on here by the snow lay. If I have my ult up, I try to kill her again. Um, yeah, magic magic pen items are generally cheaper um, than the big like Zanyas and Deathcap things like that. Um, so that's why it's Velkaz is or can be played as a support in, in my mind. Oh. This Lee wants me so bad. Can I blue actually? Caught this Nidalee again. That guy's gone. Oh, Gnar! Gnar with the Flash Blade of the Rune King. Not sure if we'll get it though. Yeah, we will. Let's take the chickens. Chicken combo! Give me them drumstick. We can't. No. Can't, Baron. Um, be. Be careful. Yeah, actually, all them up. See, this is something that's kind of silly. See, everybody's up. We don't really have a big creep wave. And they're all coming now. This is time to dip. That's, that's what that means. It means it's time to dip. Um, instead of f actually finishing my... Oh, never mind. They're winning team fight somehow. Alright, YOLO. Take it. Uh, instead of finishing my Leandries, I'm actually going right for a Void Staff. As I said, uh, Magic Pen of Velkaz is crazy good. Um, 
that's that's about it here. I'm gonna push middle as everybody died again. Despite me saying they should back, they killed them all. Um, just because that happened doesn't mean it wasn't right. Okay, gotta remember that. In my mind, it's always better to play it safe than gamble on uh, throwing away your lead. Actually, their blue's up. I'm just gonna take this. Mid plays. So now I got their blue. We have all this down. Galio's gonna be walking right through here. Hopefully. Maybe not. Oh, shit. Never mind, they had uh, hungry eyes for somebody else. Yo, give me that big check in. Caught the lease in. Oh, got him too. Aww. I'll tank it for you. It's actually just going really well overall. All of our lanes were winning. This is pretty strange for Solo Q, to be honest. Um, but this is going quite well, I gotta say. Vayne's just free farm on top. Take this in hib. Dip, 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 dip. Um, and generally, you just want to back at this point in the game, as they said. Yeah, Baron, Baron is up soon. Yep, just be. Just back out. Oh, Nilly Spear got me. Doesn't matter though. All right, let me get a pink. I think I get two pinks. If we're gonna try and start contesting Baron. Um, definitely need that, but as you can see, my magic pen is off the the, the hook right now, or the chizane, whichever you want to go with it. 48 base magic pen, and then at 39%. So, basically, I hit guys for true damage, along with my true damage. I got true damage with my true damage, and it's just all kinds of nice. Snar is, uh, unfortunately going down. Check to see what's over here. These two guys top are most likely going to be roaming down mid, potentially. We have really good wards. Mm. Not exactly sure. See, so now sitting middle like this, I'm just coming. I'm just here because my team's here. Um, it's always kind of stupid, in my opinion, but. There's nothing to do mid, but I guess we're just trying to. I guess we're just ending the game. We're just so far ahead, we can just end the game. Oh, jeez. Oh, and then something stopped my ultimate. Not sure what that was. I guess we're just ending the game. I guess we're just ending the game. Alright. Did you a play?